All right, we are back, everybody. It's round two, Operation Whirlwind, here on the lovely map of Kohat. It's April 19th, 2017, and this is Squad Ops. My name's the Muff Bandit, and I'm here with Creeping. What's going on, guys? We'll be doing some killer commentary for you, hopefully. As for everything else, got a quick question in chat. Uh, True Speed asked if they're playing in tournament mode. No, they're not. There's no special settings, restrictions, or requirements um, for this, especially when some people are playing on very old computers. But that's okay. That's okay. It's still everyone does a great job, no matter what kind of settings they have. This is more of a communication and working together event anyway. Let's see here. We're doing round two. They already did round one. As for command and squad leaders, I'm following the insurgents. They're going to be guarding this big old radio tower. Karma Cut's commanding them. His squad leaders are Hutch, Best Pony, Hamlet, and Truth Realm. What have we got over on the U.S. side this time, Creepy? All right. I'm going to be following the U.S. team. We're going to be heading out of uh, U.S. Main on the map. And we're going to be trying to go take Radio Tower. Uh, commanding the U.S. team is Xbit. And leading his four squads are OD Tap, Satan, Tedish, and Silas. Nice. Well, we do have a map, as a matter of fact. That kind of shows where everyone's starting, since we can't look at everything at once. We can try to do it this way. The U.S. starts, obviously, the U.S. main here. All right. U.S. will start at main. They're going to have a Logi truck and a Humvee. It's an open top. That Logi truck they can use to drop a fob anywhere they want and drop a couple of 50 cals so they can start slinging lead up at Radio Tower. The insurgents start at Radio Tower. They get one Logi truck. They can run as much supplies as possible. And they actually also get themselves a rocket artillery techie. They can do with that as they please. And from what I've gathered so far, it looks like Karma Cut is going to have his forces almost just make a big line. Like a wall. Squad one, squad two. Drawn on the map. And basically cover that whole area from up here to down here. Squad one, squad two. I want each one. Well, that's definitely going to be. It's uh, definitely going to be interesting from. Over. My perspective here, uh, the U.S. looks like it's going to head directly south out of Maine. They're looking to kind of follow these roads here, come down to, uh, I believe that's Mod Zai. Down, down in oh, yep. okay, so there's that area there. Here. And... Uh, yeah, it looks like they're going to try and set up a fob right on that hill above the uh, that little village and get all their infantry across the river there. So if they can do this kind of sneakily, they could run straight by the uh, insurgent forces. That is awesome. Yeah, so we'll have we'll have a couple of probably have in, insurgents spread across that way. All squads, this is SL. We're going to drop and the U.S. are going to sneak down here. Yeah, that seems to be the plan with uh Looks like they're going to try and put the fob hill right about there. Okay, and so then they'll have a couple of 50 cals up on top of the hill looking straight across it. Radio tower. Yeah. That's so it's we'll, kind of open up uh, there in some spots. It, it is pretty open and uh all squads, all squads. He Live command was cautioned so. about that, but it looks like they're going to go through with that. Um, I also know that if Karma decides to put his uh, rocket techie straight on radio tower, if he goes max elevation, he hits that hill perfectly. And then a disc up here, 
Oh yeah, we can actually so, measure the uh, distance on that too with our little handy yeah. handy distance measurer. Come on. Well, it's not working for me. You try this. Yeah. Oh yeah, he could definitely nail it. Under eight hundred yep. meters for sure. So. So this could be interesting. Um. I guess it'll depend a lot on how well Karma can react to uh, the infantry showing up behind his line that he's got set up. Um, yeah. So I guess one of the one of the bigger drawbacks here from the U.S. standpoint, um, they're going to be shuttling a lot of their forces, which uh, means they've got two very loud trucks running back and forth. Um, so depending on what's going on on the south side, they may hear the Humvee and uh, Lodgy truck. There's also doing that much driving in this game does pose a risk of uh, possibly flipping any one of your vehicles. And while the Humvee wouldn't be oh, we're totally live. the biggest loss. Oh, we are live. Yeah, we're, we're live. Uh, while the Humvee wouldn't be a terrible loss, um, the, the Lodgy truck would. So I wonder if they're going to shuttle with that or just kind of hide it behind the hill. So, as sure as heck, Hamlet's squad is pushing uh, basically straight west to Radio Tower. What's up? Truth Realm squads heading straight north. So, looking at the map, I think, and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put green markers. Right there is where Truth Realm's gonna go. And I think right there is where, where, uh, Hamley's gonna go. They can't see the green one that I placed there. That's for my squad only. <laughs> Uh, and I've got nobody in my squad. Venting if and when you do have any questions. Truth Realm's still running north. You be clear. Uh, only if, you... if for some reason you can't get a hold of me or whatever, yeah, yeah. you know, or I'm dead, or you're the last one, so on and so forth. All right. It looks like what we're seeing here on the U.S. side, um, like predicted, they're definitely going to go with that southern uh, fob in that Echo 7 area. Um, vehicles are en route. That is quite a drive however it looks like command plus two squads are actually taking the river route you know it's that would be silas's squad uh as well as satan's squad are going to be taking the river while tedish runs and they're going to be shuttled down to that fob area i see okay so maybe they will push in a little farther north yeah, they're gonna. They'll probably run into that uh, western side of that line that Karma has set up. Yeah, Hamlet's got his squad. Uh, they're still pushing west. I wonder where they're gonna stop. They're still just moseying. And I can see red guys in the distance coming this way. We'll yeah, it looks like Hamley the. Uh, the Lodgy has been dropped off. The Humvee's going to go back, and they're going to shuttle Tedish's squad here. While OD Tap and his squad, who are going to be the uh, that heavy weapon squad operating the FOB, just kind of garrisoning this compound. Hey, going to wait for everybody to get into position. All right, Hamley just set his scout to the west across the river. I believe the rest of his guys are going to stay on this east side. They've got great spacing right now. Tan's going over to get All some right, elevation with your, his uh, binoculars out. Okay, copy. No eyes on contact yet. All right, all, all emplacements are set. Let's fortify the uh, hardened... We're going to walk there in the time it takes to get that. 
Oh yeah, Merrick's in there. Okay, Blue, get in. All right. Looks like Tedish and his squad are getting hooked up in this Humvee. It's picking up a straggler. Yeah, one supporting us. Three and five. Are, well, three, four, and five. All right now, insurgents like finally six, building some six sandbags. They got their guns placed down first. All right, yeah, they dig like it up that. and move now it. Now they're else fortifying the guns before they go in. It's an interesting strategy. I've always, uh, when I command, I tend to leave my guns until last and always make sure that I have enough points that I can place. Um, I'd rather not time myself to specific firing arcs on those until I know where they're coming from. They're coming around the western valley. I'm trying to get eyes. You got over there, right? It does not yet. Yeah, there's... It's funny okay, well, that this is command, it, it, usually you would wait and, and, you know, just put them where where the action's coming from, you know? Like yeah. As soon as you get fired, drop it here, get it aiming that way, be ready to unleash. Now, we do uh, we do allow weapons to Eyes be dug up and placed in new locations. Um, yeah. No, but that takes a lot of time, uh, a lot more Charlie time than just waiting until you know where the contact's coming from. What side of the river, three? Yeah, it does. Yeah. We need to replace North side the of the river, the compound Charlie Six. Although judging by the uh, judging by the locations and the firing arcs of these SPGs, it looks like Karma's made a uh, a gamble. He he's he's made a bet on where he thinks the U.S. team is going to be coming from. Yeah, and I think he's he definitely thinks they're coming from Northwest, but he's also itching to use that arty. So he just wants the call outs from where they're at as soon Contact as soon and as accurately as he can so that he can start firing rockets. Uh, That's what he, correction. he's Delta been talking about. Or... All right, so that main column of uh, infantry coming down the river on the U.S. side looks like they could be in view of Tan. <laughs> That's the scout to the. Uh, oh fuck! Hey, let me give you money. To the let me give you west money. of Radio uh, Tower, the, 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 across the river. He looks Tan's the right way. The, 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 oh, yeah, is he? He's he's or the... Yeah, he's onto those guys. He's been. Either one. I don't care. I've heard Hamlet talking back yeah. towards Karma. So yes. With, he's with, uh, definitely Bob, focused that way. I'm, a, I'm above Hamlet right now, too, and he's looking mainly to the west also. So, All right, so far, right. that whole squad's undetected. Incoming rounds. All right, here comes some artillery. Copy, sir. And it's heading Let's see through. where this hits. I think those are way too far left. Oh, that's well they, short. They, they were However, they've, short, yep. they've picked the right hill. That's exactly yeah, where... Sure. I didn't even see uh, it in my... You. That's exactly where Xbit wanted the fob to be yeah, set up. Yeah, you need to go maybe like thirty. Okay, no, we can't. We can't hit it. We can't hit it. Don't worry about it. We can't hit it. It's Stop it's it. it's over that range, and that was max elevation. I think they're gonna. Oh. He's just gonna start you know shooting at predetermined that locations with the artillery now. So Xbit's um, just right, made the call. Like they're gonna have that Humvee cross the river and see if they can, pretty early in this round, take out the logistics runs. Oh wow, that's gutsy. It's pretty gutsy to do that unsupported. Uh, three's holding scouts route. Uh, east side of Echo Seven Hill looks clear for my pause. Copy that. I do see contacts on Radio Tower. Two times Dishka. There goes a couple shots. Yep, I am oriented. Head All right, north. that's a uh, fire two. West. Five two one. A little short of the bridge, almost. Yep, that's, that's right at the uh, infantry column in the river. Yeah. Yeah. A little short of the I'm bridge. wondering if, uh, I, I'm sure there's probably too much tree cover, but Reed might be getting close to being able to see him. Although he's laying down in the in the cornfield, so he's not seeing much of anything right now.
Yeah, I wanna wonder if they're gonna fire a couple more off or not. Southwest eyes on the Humvee. So uh Xpit's Southwest getting a little start. spooked here from those last two arty rounds. They hit about the bridge in uh, Echo Five, or Echo Six area, about 200 meters from Xbit, and he thinks he's been spotted. I don't. I believe you said Karma was just firing at some predetermined areas. Yeah. Yep. That's all they were doing. They don't. So know uh, if it was successful or not. They... Yeah. This this infantry column that I've got coming down the river is now they're uh, they're hardening up right now, thinking they've been spotted. Squad two oh, here comes a couple more. Flank. They're gonna get, turn around I don't know handle. if they're coming this way or not. Yep. Oh, yeah. So those yeah, have hit. One of them got close. Those are further than Joe, D-Mind, and X-Bit. Yeah, they're a little farther north. Pretty much right between the uh, Joe, D-Mind, and X-Bit and the rest of their team. So we'll see if they fire a couple more or not. And that, right, that like, already can rearm as much as it wants to. So they can really let loose. Negative. And as long as they're making those logi runs, two, they'll keep five, doing it all day. From my position, just over the ridge line, uh, either right on or just on the east coast of the river. Copy. Hutch, this is Mando. Hutch, I want your full squad in, uh, oriented on the east and making sure right, everyone else so is going to just over. hold until Karma Cut gives word. It looks like. Yeah, it looks like uh, this could possibly be the last Lodgy run that insurgents get. That Humvee has made it across the river and Easter is West, uh, just behind east, Insurgent east, Main. East. The Humvee took the south east. MSR. They're, not, they're on our east already. Over. They're moving up They've a little heard... slow. Maybe uh, a little worried about Lat hitting them from behind, but they're getting in position the next time this Lodgy uh, comes through. They're probably going to see it. Command, I'm it's up right there. Most likely going to engage. And then we're going to relocate him. Copy. Yeah, Roger that. Clear comms. Copy that. I'm this could be some. big if they're able to knock it out early. Right. Super fobbing gets uh, pretty expensive. It's one of the reasons you don't see it too much in uh, normal play. Yeah. A karma six, does look like he got eight, quite a bit six, of uh, emplacements up. Oh, they definitely did. They, yep, they probably got really close to the bridge. Plenty of supplies to the fucking uh, contact. All right, they fired a couple more. Let's see if they can. South as well. Let's just see where they hit. Can be advised that contact is uh, just south of where your rounds landed prior. Copy. We're gonna see some booms, I think. So they're Ooh, still hitting close. north of that column in the river. Three, it looks like. Uh, Man, Reed copy is just still two, laying down in that field. Joe and D-Mind have gone right east. by him. Roger that, yep, Reed, you're coming Depending on what uh, oh, here comes the Saloon does and Silas. Oh, yep. NATO is looking west now. Sergeant NATO, he's got D-Mind and Joe straight fire, east of him. Yep, yep, I'm, I'm seeing it. Do you want me to get a squad up there? Now he's looking north. They're just sneaking on by on the hill. Enemy base of fire spotted. Husband and Poke Spot are going to see him first. Yeah, Reed's gotten up. Yep, you I'm sure he sees D-Mine. Poke uh, Spot yeah, and D-Mine are going to be right next no, to each other. No, no, don't fucking... You don't need to push up on that shit. I've got oh, if they don't see Joe sitting up there. We're just going to... No, we're just going to fuck him up with audio. Copy that. Oh. I do believe that Sergeant NATO right might have eyes on Silas and he doesn't down see the him. field. Echo 6 in the fucking V. can't see him. They're five meters apart. Don't even know each other's there. Wow, that was good. Well, they both live to fight another day. It looks like Silas has called out those guys across the field. That's uh, Sergeant Nato and Reed. They're, uh, these two squads are getting really into each other right now. Yeah, Nobody's they are. fired a shot, which is amazing to me. Looks like both, both sides have called each other out. They know each other are there. Nobody's won. Nobody wants to take the shot and start the engagement. Oh, I think Husbird. Husbird just started shooting at Joe. 
Echo six, He's up the hill. Five. Echo six, keep at five. Nobody else is moving. Poke spots running up, but Echo nobody six, else is three. moving. That's funny. Right above us, man. At the uh, crossroad. All right, Hamlet's reporting it. We might start seeing some Artie come down this way. Husband fell back to a corner. He's peeking, peeking a corner. There's tons of trees in the way. I see the tracers of the 50 cal still lighting up the radio tower. Command, be advised. We got contacts in my keypad. Here just we go. Red, can Wizard everyone see that? Here comes rockets. Squad is a, that is OD tap squad. You? It's a gaming Sounds red like and Evans. rockets are making an attempt on uh, the fob, but they're short. I might have just dropped them. wonder Karma was probably at maxed elevation wow, there. The He's not going to be able to do any right, damage to that three. fob. It's too far back. Yeah, I think you're right. Expert knew that, that's why I put it, had him put it back there. Yeah, that's, uh, that looks solid. Yep, that's short again. Karma's not going to be able to hit. All right, they're not going to get there. Yeah, that was a that was a pretty good call from uh, Expert to place it back like that. Try to get the try to get the contact south of Dewey, so try to get side. Expert. Silas's guys are just at a snail's pace, crawling along the tree line. Yeah, Silas is very oh, aware that he is there surrounded by insurgents right now. Sergeant Nato and Reed just pinning their eyes out. That lodgy get taken out, or is it still it's still running? It's still running. The uh, I believe the Humvee ran into the invisible wall of the. Uh, Insurgent main base. Three, are they right on top of you? Oh, they Hamley went down. Um, Fox 6, Key 4, approximately. Copy that, Fox 6, Key 4. All right, Carver's going to start shooting they spread out artillery this way. Area. Sergeant Nato gave him the call. Hamley's down. Nato's down, command. You know, even if they if they shoot a bunch of rocket already in there, oh man, they could do some work. There's a dozen there's a dozen U.S. soldiers here. Pokesmot has just I'm found himself in a shitty situation. We still have contacts in the. Oh yeah, Saloon and Silas now clearing the grass and right in front of them too. Oh Slinger! Oh, what a miss! Oh oh, Silas has got to know he's got. Silas, right you got to just shoot. Spray the ground in front of you. Poke smot. This rocket just takes out matter. Oh, Demine knows he's there. Demine knows he's on that side. He's sneaking out to get him. Maybe not Jay. Silas and Slinger up. just staring at each other. Neither aware of the, the other one. Squad 3, Squad 3, incoming rounds. Need correction. Oh, oh here comes the Artie. Fire 5. Go. Oh, we got more rockets coming in. Coming Looks like they're coming in on the river this time. Yep, a little far. Oh, wow. I think we've got... That went into the river. We have two kills. Mary Android and Lost Elements just died to a rocket. Oh, look at that. Up to the north there. Yep. Six, Way up there. Five. That was effective. Got on target. Fire. fire left a little bit at 10 meters. That's server error 404 in Odessa. That's Some Odessa more coming in. That oh, that's that's uh. All uh the way those thunder. are going to be ineffective. Those are south of the river. Silas and Slinger just still crawling yeah. around each other. Oh, oh Silas, Silas goes or, down. Man, Silas got it. it. Yeah. Slinger got him. Good job by Slinger. Folks, mock it's taken out. It's Husbird left. Uh, say again, cannot copy your left. Oh, lots of gunfire right there. Uh, try down three on your next round. Oh, and he goes down. He goes. Joe gets him. So just Sergeant Nato Sergeant. and Reed. Yep, and Sergeant Nato's uh, given the report on the landings of the artillery. So if he goes down, there's going to be no one three, left to tell. Are currently being hit from? The arty truck where their stuff's uh, Currently are east. They're on the west wall. 
the compound. I don't think you're Ooh, very the close. That was really close. If they shorten it up a hair. You're about 50 meters off too far with that arc. Who's up, bro? Yeah, it's good. It's good. It's clear. Just chime. And torched. I'm gonna you know, move for, this area because I don't want to get hit. For being on the other side of the enemy and under artillery fire, Sergeant Nato's staying pretty calm. Oh, that already was just hair short that time. Well, this is an interesting one. Uh... Oh, fuck, who just ran up them? So the f oh, the American fob is under subject. attack. Just, just took three just three KIA from Tan, who threw a grenade in. Oh, is he flanking again over there? Yeah, he uh, he took out three with a grenade, but then they got him pretty quick. Ah, well, good job, good job on the nade. But that that fob is now definitely operating reduced. Oh man, that that Artie is so close. Oh, they dumped it just a hair short. Oh, that was just a little short. Reed almost got taken out up there in the top left. Hold off on the RD. We got the guys in the downtown. Copy. They're moving south. Um, Fox. Uh, Americans are feeding us for our northern side. Oh, there's, there's some accurate fire or accurate ish coming in. OD Taps falling back with his squad. Squad 2, give me a C-Rep on our east. Say again. What's our east look like, Oak? Let's get uh, east is looking with a moment, grand man. battle plan. The enemy's uh, far, but no... Gosh, look at that. Tedish's guys, guys yeah, snuck yeah, right by. Area to push radio tower from the northwest. Three, we'll oh, push radio right tower from the... Yeah, Tedish had a uh, pretty uneventful crossing of the river just to the, to the south of radio tower. Oh, yeah, the focus is starting to go down. Looks like Expit's ordering U.S. forces to spread out and start beginning to push on the FOB. I don't think they're Reed, quite aware of Reed and Sergeant Nato. Oh, I can't, I can't tell from the driver's seat, I don't think. Okay. I don't so they could definitely wreak some havoc on the U.S. forces. Uh, it also sounds like OD Tap is about to abandon the FOB. I think he's very worried that there was more than just Tan there. He is backed way off with his squad. He's looking for that infantry. Well, you know, Tan might not have got any shots off with that SKS to let him kind of give away that he was the scout. Ready. Further artillery coming in. Hold off on the RD, please. Yep, those went uh, just a little bit long. This is uh, three. This is uh, command. We have eyes on a full squad on the southernmost compound. We're going to light it up one more time. All right, they're going to light this compound up. And uh, looks like uh, Reed and Sergeant Nato successfully Wait, took out U.S. command. Drop two, fire two. U.S. is without command. Oh, but they figured it out pretty quick, so Tedish is taking command of the forces. Command be we have some straggling infantry pushing up on the uh, east side. Right, see if I can look at the Rotate to the east, please. Look where that Artie truck set. Copy that. Be advised, my fully scouting element has fully cleared the well, entire comes. northwest quadrant and sweeping down to three relief three now. Other fire teams headed east. Copy. Might get. Oh yeah, they just unloaded. Here it comes. Do we have oh man. It's like still a little long. Yep, they they were a little far there. Good shit. Yeah, that was definitely danger close right there. Three south off, next barrage, barrage when you're gonna fully load in with another barrage. Over. Affirmative, we're moving out of that area. They're gonna nail it with another barrage, sounds like. Does any squad have eyes on other enemy infantry? Over. Uh, we just have one guy in Gulf 6, but it's one guy, so. Alright, I've got eyes on full enemy necessary. squad, east side of radio tower, moving up northeast now. Alright, looks like OD Tap has gotten back Roger on his emplacements at that fob. We're gonna start seeing more suppressing fire again. Yep, they bin me. Oh, here comes some more RD. Not gonna be effective. Yeah, we're still getting suppressed. Good adjustment. Good adjustment. Yeah, they're hit close, but... That FOB is outside Looks of like the, the U.S. forces are just moving too quick. Yep. They're getting it done. Alright. 
whoever's on those guns over there, um, go ahead and abandon that shit. Um, head southeast, rejoin. Squad with four team. here. Uh, right, we've got natural death. So, uh, squad four, Truth Realm. He's calling out a full yeah, squad on the east side, pushing up. Six, key sticks. All I'm seeing is Dr. Kamikaze and Dr. Wymath. Just a couple of doctors out for a hike in the hill. North of White Smoke on hills. Copy. Yep, they've got their whole team oriented this way, so why math and Kamikaze got some work ahead of them. In the meantime, Silas, this size, Satan, Satan squad has pushed out of artillery range. They don't, they're not aware of them at all. They're not aware of. Squad is that? Faku's squad. There's Silas's old squad. So Faku's squad. Now, they push to the base of the hill. Yep, they're uh, they're holding up for stamina and to let everybody else get into position, but they're getting ready to assault here. Although it looks like Reed and Sergeant NATO are going to come right up on them. Four is shooting NATO, Sergeant NATO just called him out. He sees him on the hillside there. He's looking right at him. He can see him up there. Called him out. Oh, they're shooting. They're shooting. I got enemy contact spotted. Fox 6, P5, 5. Repeat. Fox 6, P5. And that's a good so job NATO's because even if, uh, even if your fire is not going to be effective from that distance, if you didn't have comms with the rest of your team up on radio tower, they to heard way, all that way. fire. So the radio tower it's knows exactly where range, those US up. guys are. Yeah, they gave themselves away even more. There's the squad slowly advancing on that southern hill. And then northeast. Yeah, it looks Fox like they're getting ready. Guys have slowed down. Four, how's that looking over there? Hey, I've got eyes on the enemy. Uh, we're okay. Eyes on enemy. Our There's a few going guys that are a little down. overextended. It's yeah, supposed to be right. Havoc, Heartbreaker, and I'm pushing my Alpha. Team, alpha. Uh, logic east now. They're going to have yeah, trouble getting that, back to the fight in time. Uh, fire team size element. Shots right over Satan's squad. Satan's squad is starting to fire. That's going to draw attention. They're starting to lob grenades. I've seen a GL go off right inside the razor wire. Truth Realm squad still way north. Six, key one, golf seven, key Beautiful! Seven. One tanger down. Karma Cut just gave the order to really flank any assaulting squads, so telling everyone to pull it in. That's right, pretty good timing. They're a little bit. Some of them are late. This southern. Okay, the southern back, side's going to be oh, interesting. So we've no got a couple guys. more rockets going oh, out. They see them now. 150 meters out, pushing up the road. Hutch just called them out to the south. So Hutch called out right. Tedish's squad. We need to get our techie up to the compound. He's falling back. Server ran over Odessa. They're getting the heck out of there. Yeah, that that uh, rocket artillery is no longer safe. Ooh. Yeah, lots of shooting going on back and forth. Oh yeah. All right, we've got a lot of are, they're not worried about right wasting ammo right now. Looks like. No. A Tedis has just called out to the other squads that they've got a lot of attention over on that. Uh, over on that east side, so everybody else should start pushing now. He is very right there. It looks like it might be useful because uh, it looks like Emaus and Best Pony are the only ones watching uh, oh. like Jay Remick come up. Emaus just got dropped. I think it was Drunken Puppy or Drunken Puppy. Oh, Wymath. Oh, yeah. Now that's a pretty interesting. Uh... It was Wymath, yeah. Wymath gun. It's a pretty interesting tactic from Karma Cut there. He went uh, minimum elevation with those rockets, and he's just firing them straight out at Tedish the squad. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Very launched a few. Looks like he's going to continue with that as long as uh, he's getting resupplied. He's pretty close, getting kind of close too to Legit Gamer 560 there. Oh, he might hit him here. Oh, he got him. Legit Gamer he goes down. Him. And so does Karma. Oh, and Odessa both. Odessa down as well? Yeah. I don't, I don't 
don't know who just got it. Maybe it was Glock or... Uh, the Tactical monk. Brit might be close enough for that. He... Yeah, the Tactical Brit's got three. Could have been him. I know. I took out the artillery and I've taken out... Two. We've definitely got a push coming from all sides now. I don't think we've got enough insurgents on the hill to really yeah, be able to hold it if everybody pushes at once. They got too many guys overextended out there. There's, I was talking about this during the break time. We've got four insurgents way to the west. You know, they're oh man, we've got uh, a couple minutes from combat. Torch Mock uh, and Jenga Master are literally on the other side of some sandbags as each other. Oh. Nice, they it are like too. Oh, Jenga's, Jenga's getting shot. Down, down he goes. Jenga goes Satan down to Satan. Procrastinate. Four, yeah, Jack Boot is inside. North oh, Jack Boot goes down. Or to our North yeah, First American to really Fox push into the six. inside Four, of that Fox compound. Six and flank these guys. Satan got shot. He's bandaging. You are going to take contact from your Northwest. And wow, Truth Realm Squad comes up from behind. They've already dropped three Americans. Oh, Skelly takes out Torch Mock. Satan takes out Skelly. I think at this point we're just starting to... U.S. really needs to get moving. I think this push is pretty stalled. Yeah, Truth Realm came... Right, it's too he actually quiet. flanked, and they came in and wiped out that northern squad there. Justin, go watch, go watch the so south. That went good. It's just Satan left. He's the oh, only one left on that north side. I'm, I'm just told direct west of you. It's like gaming Brennan and Oliver coming in from Alfie, the far Havoc, west. Go ahead and close to the U.S., I don't know. West oh, I think it's Tap Squad taking so long to get here. Or are they still over there? Satan taking shots. I have shots. no bandages. Best I have no fucking bandages. Justin, you up? Best pony shot. He's out of bandages. He's running to look for someone to bandage him. Hey, who's got a bandage? Who's got a fucking bandage? Let's see Frank, Frank buddy, Castle's I need, got a bandage. I need a bandage real quick. Oh. Because I'm, ble I'm bleeding out, Fulcrum Frank. getting real accurate with that uh, AR fire. Just took down and procrastinate. Real long distance. That's about... All right, that's good. It's almost Back 400 line. meters. It's all good, it's all good. Um, as long as we're getting the Americans, that's fine. Alright, Turtle, you still up? Cleave Copy. this. Yeah, I'm still up. I'm still watching. Spotted by Frank Castle. Throwing a nade up here. It's not quite far enough. Grenade! But it did allow him time to advance. Fucking base of fire is still the reception. Frank Frank just goes down. All right, Frank, I'm gonna make a run for it. I'm probably gonna die. Fulcrum's resuming his uh, AR fire. That's gonna draw Woo! attention and keep heads down. Allow Tedish and yeah. Uber Chipmunk to get a get off to the side there. It's all really gonna matter if uh, Truth Realm sees him. Satan is just picking guys off by himself up there. You got that He's guy got that best pony. Yeah. You got him, Goober? No. He's still out there. Uh, He's taking out a couple. Tennis is close. Chip, Goober Chipmunk. Goober, that guy's getting down. intense oh. in here. Satan's about to peek on Turtle Guy 5. Unless he backs up into Part Time Ninja. Or J Rad. Ah, down he goes. Turtle Guy saw him. Good run by Satan. It's like what's we're situation? down to the bitter end here. He got four. I believe we've got five, six, seven US left. Probably about the same on insurgents. Yeah, let me see what I can figure out here. Uh, seven more kills for the insurgents in the U.S. So the insurgents do have outnumbered. They've got a lot of guys on the north side. That ram goes down. Looks like he traded with Frank Castle. Gaming Brennan and Oliver just west. Gaming Brennan patching. Oliver's a medic, so he'll be able to go heal. We've got five up for U.S. right now. I mean, Brennan shooting at Havoc. Or that's Reed shooting at Havoc. Oh, no, it's not. It's, it's like, surprisingly, we've got nobody actually inside the compound right now. Everybody thinks the other side has it.
Turtle guy has got his guys over there digging up their own emplacements because they want to be able to get close without entering. Space, you're still watching the far right side. Turtle, if you want to do it with space and watch Part-time right ninja's taking over for the there, squad. We'll yeah. from there. Hey, from? There's not a... Yep. I got machine there's up. no command left. This is it mm -hmm. for the insurgents. Alfie, don't be afraid on the north know, side here. Oh, I guess uh, they've, looks got, like... really close. they've got guys spread way out outside of the zone. Yeah, Fulcrum's the only uh, fire team lead still up. Oliver goes down. Gaming Brandon's the only one on the west side. Oh, Jack Reynolds as well. And Merrick on the south and Fulcrum. So four, yep. four U.S. soldiers. Looks like Brandon says he's just going to hold that corner. He knows that they're on the outside and not inside the compound. Turtle guys getting real close. He's falling back. I'm pushing east. Yeah. Gaming north. Brennan. Uh, it's funny. So much of so much of squad ops is really dependent on uh, good communication, good good sound orders and good plans. When you get down to this here, it really becomes... Uh, this is where it becomes that kind of game of skill. How well can you shoot and how well can you communicate with your team where you're seeing everybody? We've got the gaming Brennan. Just hold the corner. Picking him off as best he can. Yep. He's a GL without any grenades left, so. And uh, the other two up, Merrick and Jack Reynolds, are both medics, so there's no grenades left on the U.S. side. Gaming Brennan peeking. Yeah. Turtle guy looking the wrong way. Oh, looking right back. Now Got Brennan's him. looking the wrong way. Brennan is hit. He's running away. He can try to get advantage. I'm guy. I'm just cover me. I'm, oh. I'm, I'm sweeping far right. Gaming Looks like Brennan is the only one left. Oh, wow. Yep. He just lost his two teammates to Alfie. And down he goes. Last kill by part time ninja. That's going to be a good game, I believe. Let's make sure here. Yeah, Dr. Wymath died. Uber Chipmunk yep. died. There it goes. Yeah, it's going to be a good game. Karma's calling GG. Good game. That was a much closer one, though, the insurgents. Uh, oh, yes, it was. Much at the end there. Some great artillery fire. Real accurate. GG, boys. GG. Yeah, that was really, really good. Good it really shows how uh, how good artillery can be in an operation, and so just even just stalling the enemy force. But that was Operation Squad Ops. My name's Muff. This here with me is Creeping. We ran Operation Whirlwind on Cohot. And I want to give a big shout out to the cameras. Here's the they were a crazy Russian, best pony, server error 404, shadowed ritual, truth realm, <laughs> xbit, tedish, the tactical Brit, and J Remick. Of course, I'm flying around too. Got to give a big shout out to our cameraman, uh, Penn. Makes all this happen. He does good stuff. It's amazing things he could do. Let's see. I'm checking for any questions. Uh, Rusty H, there's two rounds streamed every event. And that's about it. I have nothing left. We'll let you guys go. Uh, if you want to check us out, you can go to squadops.gg. Uh, check us out in Discord. Uh, as always, people in Discord, always people looking for games. We even play other games. So, yeah, check us out. Pen threw a link up in the chat for you. You can get registered at the forums, join the whitelist server. And that's about it. 
Won't keep you guys any longer. Been here a while. And we'll let you go. Have a great night. All right. Thanks, guys.